Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. You like my glasses? Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here with me today and I'm here in Spencer, West Virginia at the Patch Office and I have some um, holiday stuff for you today. The, we're going to start off with our book which is called 10 Things You Never Knew About Santa Claus. Hmm, let's see. What could it be? Do you guys have any ideas? I don't. Let's see. Well, this book was written by Giles Paley Phillips, and it was illustrated, so the person that drew the pictures is Rowan Martin. And then right down here in the corner of this book, it says this book was previously published as Things You Never Knew About Santa Claus. And now they're just calling it 10 Things You Never Knew About Santa Claus. So let's get started. Let's jump right in. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Oh, look, there's Mr. and Mrs. Claus decorating the tree. Look, he has a pizza ornament. That's a pretty cool ornament. And Mrs. Claus, she's got an airplane ornament. Let's see here. Way up in the cold North Pole, far, far away from you, Santa Claus is doing things you won't believe are true. Did you know that Mr. Claus sunbathes in the snow? That's why he has such rosy cheeks. I bet you didn't know. I didn't know that. He does, of course, have reindeer like all the stories say. But he also has, uh oh, let's see. there's a hint, a dragon that he rides on every day. Watch that dragon. It's pretty cool, and the elves are back there going for a ride. One thing we all know is that Santa loves to eat. But did you know cold pizza? is his favorite midnight treat. And you know, after I read that, I was like, you know what? There was that one day on Christmas Eve, Scott and I had pizza and we left it in the refrigerator. And when I got up Christmas morning, you know what? My pizza was gone and I blamed it on Scott getting up in the middle of the night eating the pizza. And you know what? I bet it was Santa Claus. He ate my pizza. Santa Claus also loves bumper cars and chasing the reindeer around. Looks like they're at the carnival, huh? When he's tired of jingle bells, he likes a hard rock sound. Rock on. Oh, don't think the reindeer are sharing his uh, choice of music. <laughs> Santa likes to dye his hair. Ugh which makes him look quite weird. Would you believe his latest look? A green and purple beard. Oh my word, look at Santa. Whew, I don't know about that, Santa. On Christmas Eve, he goes by sleigh, but Santa loves to scoot. Then he wears his bright blue shorts and not his crimson suit. Crimson's another shade of red. Sharing gifts all around the world, he's never lost his way. But sometimes Santa does get lost when he takes some time away. Because he didn't have his, his Santa sleigh GPS going, and so he's dependent on the map over here and the reindeer. And people are lost. Yes, Santa Claus does lots of things. It's all completely true. But the thing he likes to do the most is bringing some joy to you. Oh, and he's going, shh, don't tell anybody. Merry Christmas. All right, that was 10 things you never knew about Santa Claus. And I actually, I kind of learned some things in there because now I had to apologize to Scott because 
Well, I blamed him for eating the Christmas pizza, and it wasn't him, it was Santa. He snuck in and ate my pizza. So, I thought that was a pretty cool book. And I have one other thing that you might not know. Did you know that you could make a Santa with a heart and some circles? Did you guys know that? That you can make a Santa using hearts and circles? Hmm, and some cotton balls, of course, hello. But, I wonder what it's gonna be. Well, I tell you what, let's, let's get started and find out, okay? So we're gonna have to have a sheet of paper and a box of your crayons, and then we're gonna need some glue and some cotton balls, okay? I'll pour my cotton balls out here. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Doo, 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 doo. All right, so let's get out my crayons, and I am going to take a brown crayon. So let me find my brown crayon. Hey, are you guys all with me? You've got your crayons, you've got your piece of paper. All right, let's get started. So I had said, I started out with saying that you could make a Santa using a heart and circles. Well, so we need to draw a heart, first things first. So we're going to draw a big heart on our paper. My table here is a little bumpy, so it makes my drawings look a little bumpy. All right, so there's my heart. Okay, you ready? Now, we need to turn it upside down. Turn your heart upside down. Oh, and there's also a triangle. I forgot about the triangle. So when we look at Santa's hat, what shape is his hat? Think about it. Oh, I heard someone say it. His hat's a triangle, right? Right, so you need to get out your red crayon. Now looking at this heart upside down, do you see where there might be a triangle? You're right, right here at the top. So we're gonna take our red crayon and we're gonna make Santa a hat. You just draw a line right across there and we're gonna color it in. And there we have Santa's hat. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. All right. Now his hat needs a cotton ball on the top, doesn't it? Of course. So let's get some glue out here. And maybe we will have glue. Maybe we will not have glue. Oh yay, let's have something go wrong with the glue. It usually happens to Miss Pam, but today it's gonna happen to Miss Penny. So we'll go back to the glue in just a minute. Okay, we'll finish. We'll finish our drawing first. Okay, so we've got his triangle hat. So now Santa needs two round eyes, okay? So let's get out our blue crayon and try to make two circle blue eyes. Oh, I got one eye bigger than the other, okay? And then I want to give him a blue eyeball right there and a blue eyeball right there, okay? So now Santa's got his two blue eyes. All right, well, Santa needs, if you remember in the book, they were talking about how he was um, sunbathing in the snow to get his rosy cheeks. So I'm gonna get a pink crayon and I'm gonna make a bigger circle over here and I'm gonna give him a pink rosy cheek on this side and I'll come over on this side and I'll give him another pink rosy cheek. All right, because whoo, he got himself a little bit of sunburn. He probably should have had some sunscreen on, right? Hello, sunscreen. All right, now we need a little nose. And I'm going to give him a pink nose. So for here, we're going to make an oval. All right, so you make your oval. And right there is our pink nose. So. We used a heart, we drew a heart, then we made a red triangle for his hat, we gave him two big blue eyes, we gave him his two rosy cheeks and a pink nose, and now we need to get his beard, all right? So for that, we're gonna have to have our glue and our cotton balls. 
okay? So, Mr. Justin was trying to fix my glue, but I don't know if it's going to work or not. Nope. We'll just do it this way. We'll get a little messy. How's that sound? Oh, yeah, that sounds like loads of fun, doesn't it? All right, so we're going to take our cotton ball. Going to put just a touch of glue here at the top for our hat. Whoa, yep, there's the glue explosion. So a way to fix that, we're going to take this extra glue with our cotton ball, and we're going to come down here and smear it around for Santa's beard. Okay? You always got to have a little mix-up, right? All right, so we've got his little cotton ball up there for the top of his hat, and now we need to make his beard. Now, when you take your cotton, what you want to do is because his, his beard looks real fluffy, doesn't it? So you want to take the cotton, and you want to pull it real easy. Now, you don't want to pull it real hard, because if you pull it real hard, it's just going to come apart, right? Right. All right, and then we're going to fill in the spot down there at the bottom to make his beard. And that way we also use less cotton balls, too. You want him to be a nice, fluffy beard. Okay. And we're filling in there. So now are you guys seeing how we took a, a simple heart, a triangle, some circles, and some ovals, and we made a Santa Claus. Isn't that funny? Now, do you guys want me to tell you how I came up with this idea to make a shape Santa Claus? You have any ideas? Well, I will tell you. I've been doing this one for several years, but one year before Christmas, I was watching TV, and there was a commercial for Dairy Queen, and it was showing the Dairy Queen ice cream cakes that you could get for a holiday, and one of the ice cream cakes was a heart that was made into Santa Claus, and I'm like, hey, I can do that with my class. All you need is a heart, triangle, circles, some cotton and some glue, and boom, we have a Santa Claus. And there you go. Using just our simple shapes, we made a Santa. I bet you didn't know you could do that, huh? Well, that's it for me today, boys and girls. Oh, wait, 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 no, it's not all for me. No, 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 no. I have got a little finger play or a little poem that I wanna do with you guys, okay? You're gonna take your hand and you're gonna hold it to the side you're going to take your thumb and you're going to fold your thumb over, okay? Now, you're going to take your four fingers that are over here and you're going to tuck your thumb in. It's like you're covering it up with a blanket, okay? So, here is the chimney. Here is the top. Open the lid and out Santa will pop. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. I'll see you real soon. That's it. You want to do it one more time? Okay, thumb down, wrap your fingers around like you're gonna tuck it into bed. Here is the chimney, here is the top. Open the lid and out Santa will pop. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. See you soon, boys and girls. And I'll see you soon, boys and girls. Bye-bye.